Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash, and Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world is we call God, and Bahasham is in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world is we call Jesus, and the Rachakwadash is the Holy Spirit. And also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel, that Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide, and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and also toiling in this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children, that Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, will show mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Kabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. And I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right. And this lesson, Lord willing, is going to be entitled for this is the love of God. All right. This is the love of God. And what is love according to the Holy Bible? Let's get it. First John five and three. For this is the love of the most high that we keep his commandments. And you got these Christian churches. All right. Who tells you uh, the law, statutes and commandments has been done away with. And really what the Christian churches are telling you. That you can do as thou will. And that's really the spirit of Satan. All right. And the Lord says in first Corinthians 14 and verse 40, let all things be done decently and in order. So there's order when it comes to serving Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. The Lord has set up uh, apostles and elders and uh, heads of the camps. All right. You're going to have men over you. <laughs> Some of the commandments that we're supposed to keep. We're not supposed to be shaving our beards. You're not supposed to be getting lineups. Dreadlocks is unacceptable. Having long hair as a man is unacceptable. But when you go to these Christian churches, what they say, you can come as who you are. And these Christian churches are leading our people to astray. Because that's all your pastor cares about is your money making his pockets fat. And that's why the Lord tells us to stay away from these churches. Acts 7 and 48. How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands as saith the prophets. Right? And the Lord says that he speak through his servants, the prophets. Amos 3 and 7. Luke Chapter one, and I believe it's 69 or 70. And that's how the Lord always dealt by way of his prophets. Think about in the time of Noah. All right. The Lord was de dealing directly with, with, with Noah. All right. You think about Moses. You think about Joseph. All right. Peter, the uh, apostle Paul. So the Most High is dwelling not in these temples made with hands. And the true prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to be on the street corners. All right. Because that's a commandment from the Lord. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. <laughs> right. And that corner is speaking about these church houses. Because we're supposed to declare this word openly. 
Because when you're in these Christian churches, only the Baptists or only Seven Day Adventists can hear that, can, can, can hear. All right, but we out on the highways and byways, and everybody going to hear this word. And that's how the Lord is marking people for judgment. All right, scripture says, mark those who cause division. So when we out on the highways and byways, Christians gonna hear this, gonna, gonna hear this gospel. Atheists, Baptists, Buddhists, Muslims, all denominations gonna hear this truth. And it says, "But thy eyes shall see thy teachers." Right? You know, and your eyes are seeing your teachers, man. Beginning with our apostles and elders. Our apostles been pushing forth this truth for 30 plus years. The bishops and elders. All right. And brothers all across the world. You got brothers in the UK. You got brothers in Puerto Rico. You got brothers in Hawaii. You got brothers in Charlotte and California and Chicago and in New York and Texas and Florida, St. Louis. You know, we can keep going down the line in Arizona. Right. And hey, the Lord says a hey, uh, uh, this word shall go out throughout the four corners of the earth and then the end shall come. And you got the prophets on the YouTube blowing up the YouTube, man. All right. Day and night. Don't matter what time you wake up in the morning. You, you wake up in the morning at six o'clock. A brother's going live. A brother just put forth the lesson at midnight. Brothers are going live. Brothers pushing forth. The, uh, the lesson man Alright And we in the time of You know hastening and coming the day of the Lord The Lord is turning things up Alright the left hand side Is going hard and guess what The right hand side is going even harder Let me get this Then I'm going to go back to 1st John this is Matthew 5 and verse 16. I'm going to start at let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Right. And we let in our light sign shine before men. All right. It says that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. All right. And that's why the scriptures says in Colossians 3 and 12, put on therefore as the elect. All right. So when we at work. We letting our light shine. When we out on the highways and byways, we letting our light shine. When we run in our day-to-day -day errands, we letting our light shine. All right, we walking as your how was shy. All right, and that's why it's important to to constantly stay in the spirit. All right, because you never know who's watching. You never know who can be converted by the way that you carry yourself. All right, and uh, we don't always have to. You know, uh, when you out on your day-to-day, -day, you're, you're at the grocery store. You know, we don't have to tell nobody that we're a Hebrew Israelite. You know, people can sense the spirit on you. All right, they sense something different about you. You're not smoking. You, you, you're, you're, you're not acting like a nigga. Your pants not sagging. The way that you dress, the way that you carry yourself, Scripture says, you shall know a man by his gait. And, and that's righteously and wickedly. All right, you see a nigga walking down the street, twisting his dreadlocks, all right, smoking his black and mild. You already know that's a damn demon, right? It says verse 17, it's the point. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. So Yahweh Shah came not to destroy the law because the law is perfect. Why destroy the saying in the world, don't fix something that's, don't fix something that's not broken. All right, the law was perfect, right? It says, or the prophets, I came not to destroy, but to fulfill, all right? So the Lord came to fulfill the law, you know? And that's why Yahweh Shah is our example. You know, we striving to be as Yahweh Shah because he conquered the flesh. I'm gonna jump down to verse 19. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Right. And that's going for these Christians. All right. And even these other Israelite camps. 
Because they, they preach about the law, the law, the law. But you got men in their congregation with long ass hair. Got dreadlocks, which is a heathen custom. The scripture says, uh, envy not thou oppressor and choose none of his ways. That's a commandment. So we ain't supposed to envy our oppressor. All right. Getting lineups goes back into the Egyptians. Okay. Which are the so-called Africans, which is, which is our enemy. All right. The Christian church says, come as you are. All right, they, they, they telling their congregation, oh, it's okay to be a homosexual. The God loves you just the way that you are. All right, the scriptures uh, is, is completely, uh, speaks completely against that. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. So the true prophets of Yahweh Bashem Shai, they're going to cry aloud. All right, niggas be like, you know, calm down. You don't have to raise your voice. No, the, the Lord says cry aloud because Jake, two thirds of our people are wicked. The scriptures call our people uh, a stiff neck, rebellious. Right. It says spare not. So we're not here to spare your your damn feelings. When you have a shot come, he ain't sparing. The Lord said he's going to slay utterly old, young, maids, little children. It says lift up thy voice like a trumpet and the trumpet is a loud playing instrument. You can hear a trumpet playing from miles away. It says, it show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob, their sins. So that's what the true prophets are doing. All right. But people say, oh, you can't judge me in that Tupac spirit. Hey, Tupac is a damn demon. And is uh, uh, evidence came out that 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 nigga was a was a homosexual. Right. So the true prophets of Yahweh Bashem al Shai are not going to be pacifying your feelings. All right. The Lord says he's not a respecter of persons. So going back to 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3, and it reads, For this is the love of Yahweh Bashem al Shai, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Right. The Lord is not asking us to, to bench 300 pounds. To run 10 miles. All right. The Lord asking us simple things. Stay away from eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. Quit getting lineups. Don't have sex. With, don't have sex with other men's women. All right. And we can have as much women as we want. As long as they don't have a man. Okay. And you got to take that with a grain of salt because... Hey, the Lord says, um, even though it's lawful, it's not expedient. Okay, so, yeah, we can have as many women as we want. But is that really uh, expedient in these times? No, man. All right, because we got a mission at hand. All right, we trying to, we trying to be saved. We trying to be delivered. All right, and women, uh, too many women, hey, that could be a distraction. All right, but that's just an example of... Um, that the Lord, you know, put in place. All right. So I'm read that one more time. First John five and three, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are, my, are not grievous. All right. So if we love your, how about Shemel Shah? We're going to keep his law, statutes and commandments. All right. And that's the true love of God, man. All right. These Christians, these other Israelite camps, you know, they really don't love the Lord. You know, they might come in the name, the true name, how about Shemel Shah? All right, but the Lord says, beware of them. All right, they, they, let's just get it. Matthew 7 and 15, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing. Right, they come with the fancy garments. All right, they be wearing a, they be in unison. All right, wearing all purple. They got the phylacteries. All right, they, they, to, to, in, in a uh, carnal eye. All right, it looks like the Lord is dealing with them. All right, but the Lord says, judge not according to, to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So just because a, a camp got a nice garments on, all right, just because your Christian pastor got the nice tuxedo suit on, all right, he pulling up in the range robe, it don't mean that the Lord is dealing with them. All right, the Lord really said he deal with the meek and the lowly. All right, Yahweh Shai, but well, he came uh, on a donkey, you know? And it says, but inwardly they are Ravening wolves. 
right? So these people inwardly, they not right. All right, and that's why you got to judge according to the spirit, not according to what a man has. And that's what this world do. All right, you think about Oprah Winfrey, LeBron James, Michael Jordans. This is what the world um, looks up to. All right, but this Lord says the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high. All right, hey, and that time gonna come in the kingdom where we're gonna get the flex, we're gonna have the nice garments on, you know, we're gonna have the, 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 uh, we're gonna have the mansions and things like that. Hey, but th that's not the time that we in, man. All right, so I just wanted to bring that lesson out through the spirit. All right, just short, quick, straight to the point. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Kakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, will show mercy upon in these last days. The Wadi Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. For giving me the spirit of truth, the water of Hashem Al Shai, for giving me the Holy Spirit to make this lesson, Lord willing. Until the next lesson, I'm gonna say Shalom and a Baba Ball, DTA.